If you've climbed the scuba ranks as high as rescue diver, then you've got two choices for how to progress in your diving education. You can either do a master scuba diver or a dive master certification. Now, this video has been on my to-do list since we started this channel because whilst those two terms sound similar, they are actually wildly different and there's often confusion between which you should go into. Luckily, you've got me here to hold your hand and guide you through it. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome to Divers Ready. My name is James. It is so great to see all of your smiling faces out there in YouTube land. If you're new to the channel, make your next dive on that subscribe button, click the little bell icon, and that way you'll never miss any of our content because we make videos with one simple goal in mind, and that's to help make you a better scuba diver. Just time for a quick channel update from me. Um, a few quick things for our regular viewers. Yes, we are fully prepared for Hurricane Isaias if we get any action from it. I think it's gonna miss us and go north. We might get some tropical storm conditions which it's just the price for you know doing business here in uh, South Florida where we've got fantastic diving year round got to put up with hurricane season it is what it is um, also this week I built a new top-down rig so I can do more uh, professional top-down shots before I was just using a tripod and the trouble is then you get the legs of, in the tripod shot and you've got to crop in and then you lose pixels um, so now I've got a new overhead rig which I purpose built and I can do things like this with it Yeah, thank you very much for that, guys. By popular demand, Shearwater reached out to us, as my Instagram followers would have seen, and uh, and sent us the new Peregrine. So as soon as the storm passes and we can actually get it wet, I'm gonna take it diving and tell you what I think about it. On with the show. This video is specifically aimed at rescue divers who are looking to take their diving to the next level. The only question is, what should the next level be for you? Which option is right? Now, a little while ago, we made a video on the scuba diver progression. I'll link it up above there. It'd be useful for you to watch that video just for some foreshadowing. Uh, but essentially, the cliff notes are open water, advanced open water, rescue diver, and then a choice between either master scuba diver or dive master. Now, two scuba diving ranks, which sound similar, but are actually wildly different which should you choose? Well, we're gonna look at Master Scuba Diver and Dive Master individually, and then at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a third choice for how to progress from Rescue Diver that may be something to think about. Let's start with Master Scuba Diver. Master Scuba Diver is the highest rank an amateur scuba diver can hold. And that's right, I said amateur because being a master scuba diver, you cannot hold liability insurance and you cannot be paid to do diving services. It is an amateur rank. So that's difference number one right there. So let me bring up a quick chart here of the most popular dive agency's requirements for the master scuba diver certification. Uh, as you can see, they've got slightly different names, master scuba diver or master diver, and the normal age is 15. Paddy, 12, good on you, you little ripper. You're a master scuba diver, 12 years old. Uh, what a time to be alive. I mean, what a world. Fantastic. The requirements for being a master scuba diver are all pretty much the same. You have to be a rescue diver, you have to have logged 40 or 50 dives, depending on the agency, and you have to hold four or five specialty certifications. And some of the agencies have specific requirements about which specialties they have to be. Other ones, it's just like any five. Okay, so that's the thing. Additional training, this is important to know. At master scuba diver, you do not get any additional training. There is no course, there is no manual. You actually don't even need an instructor. Once you're a rescue diver, you've got proof for 50 log dives and you've got four or five specialty certifications depending which agency you're with. You can just apply directly to your training agency, submit the proof, and then you pay and get the card. That's it. So if there's no jump between rescue diver and master scuba diver in terms of knowledge or skills, and there isn't, then why do it? Why pay for that little piece of plastic card? Very simply, the only reason that comes to mind is bragging rights. People just want that card with Master Scuba Diver and their name on it. It doesn't make you better than a rescue diver, and to a certain extent, it's a dead-end rank because you can't go from Master Scuba Diver to instructor. You'd still have to do a Dive Master course first. Okay, so what about Dive Master then? Dive Master is the entry-level professional qualification. 
long time ago, way back at the start of this channel, I made a video about Dive Master internships, which I'll link up above there. And it goes over the options for how to get into a Dive Master program and what you should be looking for. If that's your jam, I strongly recommend you check that video out. But for the sakes of this video, all you really need to know is if you want to be a professional diver, if you want to move into being an instructor, you have to do a Dive Master course. That allows you to work at a dive center. It allows you to hold liability insurance. It certifies you to guide and act as a professional guide in the water and above uh, with other certified divers. And it allows you to assist instructors in teaching a range of courses. And depending on the agency, even teach some entry level courses. Here's the chart then for entry level professional diver courses through the different agencies. As you can see, Dive Master, Dive Guide, whatever they want to call it. Minimum age now is 18. You're an adult, you're going to be working as a professional. You need to be 18 years of age. And you can see the prerequisites are pretty much the same as Master Scuba Diver. You need to be a rescue diver, you need to have 50 log dives. But then there's this additional line that says you have to be able to show experience in a range of different dive styles. What does that mean? Oh, I mean, that is highly open to interpretation. You remember when you did your advanced open water course and they made you do one deep dive, one navigation dive, one boat dive, one drift dive, one buoyant, whatever, like those different dives, some people will take that as showing a range of experience in different dives. Oh, I mean, it's tough, right? Because you don't want to make it elitist. You want it to be accessible and have people to actually do a dive master course. But at the same time, like doing one of each of those flavored dives and then 40 other dives that are exactly the same, I don't know if that's a range of experience or not, but it's very much open to the you know interpretation of the instructor who's running the course. Quick side note here, interestingly, you do not need to have a Nitrox certification to become a dive master. And for me, I would make that a prerequisite. And let me tell you why. Yes, I get that it's 2020 and Nitrox still isn't available all around the world. But here's the thing, the knowledge that you gain through a Nitrox course when it comes to physiology and you know gas laws and all that kind of good stuff should be mandatory at the dive master level. And to think that you can rise all the way through the ranks and become a professional diver without ever having studied Nitrox or done the theory for it or even dived it or tasted it or anything like that absolutely baffles me. You could be a certified dive master not have a nitrox certification and yet you're responsible for amateur divers in the water who are diving nitrox incredible just my opinion i digress on a good dive master course you are taught to think and act like a professional diver you will learn how to manage groups of divers both above and below the water like a master cat herder and you'll be able to assist in teaching classes with the instructor and and become useful to that instructor Plus, you should pick up a whole range of supplementary skills that come with working in a dive center from filling tanks to basic equipment servicing. Yes, a lot of cleaning, taking the trash out, cleaning the toilets, all that good stuff. That's life in a dive center and it's preparing you for a professional role. What you won't be taught on a dive master course is how to dive. You need to come into your professional training with the fundamentals already completely mastered. There won't be time on your dive master course for you to work on your buoyancy or your trim. Or if you're guiding paying customers as part of your course and you're having to cut the dive short because you're low on gas, that's a bad situation for everyone. So you need to come into the dive master completely ready with your foundational skills completely under control because you don't want to be thinking about those while you're learning to manage divers underwater. Now, if it is absolutely your dream to rise to the rank of dive master or if you want to go on and become an instructor, then absolutely go for it and get your dive master course. I'm with you 110%. But just know that like I said, the dive mask course isn't necessarily going to make you personally a better diver. It's going to teach you those additional skills to manage other divers underwater. So if you're not intending to be a professional, I don't see a lot of value in doing a dive master course just for the sakes of it. They're quite expensive. They're quite time consuming. Now, speaking of time consuming and expensive, I did say that there was a third option from Rescue Diver as to how to progress your personal diving. Remember, Master Scuba Diver won't make you a better diver. Being a dive master will teach you supplementary skills and how to work in a dive center, but you need to already be a competent diver before you start your dive master. And there's not a lot of focus on increasing your dive skills. What will increase your dive skills and what will take you to the next level is getting into technical diving. Yeah, I know, says the guy that owns a technical diving instruction company. Of course I'd say that. If you're coming into technical diver training from Rescue Diver, same like the Diver Master course, you need to have your fundamentals completely down pat and under control. 
but you will be challenged. You will learn new things. There is a certain amount of having to relearn how to dive. You're gonna be in a new equipment configuration. You're gonna go deeper into gas laws and physiology than you ever thought possible or that you've done so far in your diving career. So it is really an exciting challenge that if you don't want the symbolic master scuba diver card and you have no intention of working as a professional diver, then your, your only option left to progress as a diver is to go tech. And if you're interested in accepting the challenge of technical diver training and you're wondering how to get started, we already made a video about that and I'll link it above there. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, give it the old thumbs up for me. You know how it works by now? Just over here, I'll put some of our back catalog you can enjoy. I'm gonna go and batten down the hatches as this tropical storm approaches. So until next time, my name's James. This was your Divers Ready video for this week. Dive safe, dive often, guys.